J, Chai Suksuri, Product Specialist, ISS. Today I want to show you how to program Tools Talk 2. So let's go take a look. Virtual Station in Tools Talk 2. So in the example here, I already have two virtual stations in my controller. STB right angle is already set up, so we're going to set the station called Revo. In this virtual station, we only have the name, but tool is not set up, there's um, a default configuration, and so on. So I'm going to start step by step, starting from the tool. Okay, there is an available cable tool here with the serial number. There is no MAC address because this is a cable tool. If it's a wireless tool, you'll see the MAC address right here, the max torque, and so on. I'm going to select this tool, and Tools Talk said, Okay, you need a tool configuration to tie with this tool. So you can see there is a cable tool configuration that was recommended because this was filtered by tool type. If I hit off right here, you can see tool, you can see two configuration. The wireless tool configuration, STB, and this configuration. Since we're a cable tool, so this makes most sense. After I select my tool, there's a warning right here. It says, tool not compatible with license. So I better choose my licenses that matches my station. From 3.1 and above, we have this flexible offering. You can check some other videos in YouTube about flexible offering, but um, a short description. Flexible offering allows you to select different kind of licenses mm -hmm. according to your application. For process control, it means I want the highest electric tool application right here, which means I have angle control, I have torque control. That's why I need this process control for this station. Okay, I already selected my licenses. Then next, I'm going to select my task. Task is telling what should the tool do. In my task here, I have different tining programs. I could say you could do 60 Newton meter um, tining, or you could do 50 and so on. In this case, I'm gonna select a source tining, means if there's different identifiers, like identifier one, gonna select program one, identifier two, gonna select program two, because mm -hmm. in this case, I'm gonna use open protocol or a field bus or PLC. If I want to take out this license warning, I got to push the settings. I could do it now just, you know, to show you guys that the warnings can be gone. As you see here, the controller has been assigned with new licenses. Press OK to refresh. Done. The warning is gone. Next, I'm going to select my protocol. In the protocol tab, you can select different customer protocols. There are specific customer protocols, but um, in my IAM here, there's no customer protocol. So I'm just gonna use open protocol, enable it, it's already enabled. And this port here is for communication with different field buses, PLC, or in your operator guidance, SQS, default, is the first tool default is 4545. If you have a second tool, it's 4546, 4547, and so on. Disconnect, disconnect setting. This is a good setting if suppose um, your open protocol is not communicating what you want the tool to do. So you said you want to lock the tool, which that is really safe. In this case, I'm just going to turn off everything. So no disconnect setting. Um, I could choose a losing program if I need. Legacy Use legacy controller is if you want to send out a signal like the PF4000, it has kind of a job counter where you could send out with open protocol. In this case, I'm gonna turn this off and I think my settings are really good. So I'm gonna close this. There's no few bus mapping here. There's already um, an operator panel accessory. I want to tie this configuration with 
this connected accessory, which this is the built-in internal I.O. I'm going to select choose here. And you can see it says Revo um, station OP panel. This is connected. And also my internal I.O. is connected as well. This is the virtual station general configuration. Manual mode. This is suppose um, you have a failure in your production line. Maybe your PLC is not working. Maybe something is not working. And you said, OK, in that case, we have a backup. If my station is down, I could select a tiny program or maybe another batch, you know, source batch or sorts or a source batch, source signing. In this case, to make it realistic, I said, okay, if my station is down, I'm gonna select this 60 Newton meter. What is the signal to trigger it? I said, okay, if there's um, signal number eight coming in, disable open protocol, and I can use this manual tightening. And to leave um, this manual tightening, we need our signal from maybe another maybe number, number seven or something. And if you want to test the signals, you can select one of your accessories right here, such as your internal IO and then click diagonose. But in this case here, I'm not at the station, so it's hard to do that. So that's all for setting up a virtual station. Pretty simple. Lastly, don't forget to push your settings. You're done. So that's it on this video for Tools Talk 2. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please contact your local LS Copco representative. Thanks for watching.